One week ago, the Raven basketball teams took on rival Olathe North in front of a loud and large crowd. The men's game was highly anticipated, and the highlight of the night for many Raven fans was RJ's monster dunk in the losing effort. But those who saw the Lady Ravens play earlier in the night were in for a treat. They played very well last Friday. Let's pick things up early in the game. Kelsey and Selmy with not one, but two great moves, and she scores Northwest out to a large lead early. The Eagles, on the other hand, struggles. They just can't seem to get things going, and the Ravens took full advantage of that. Here are the Bay Twins hooking up, and the Ravens running away with it. Coach Brandstrom likes what he sees. Second quarter, Rebecca Stowe is going to knock this pass down and hustle down the court. Katie Johns finds her for the easy layup. It's all smiles for the Ravens going into halftime as they have a huge 19-point lead. Third quarter, the success continues as Selmy hits this shot. All the Northwest fans and tenants get to celebrate a victory, as do the Lady Ravens as they roll 52-30. to This has been Zach Vish reporting for Game Day Northwest. Back to you in the studio. In their first three years of play, the Lathan Northwest softball team found themselves on the losing end of things more often than not. In those three years, the softball team from the new school on the block had only accomplished seven wins combined during that three-year stretch. With the fourth year looming, Mark Mahoney was brought in as the new head coach and had quite the task in front of him. I uh, knew that we only had one way to go, and that was up. I uh, was excited about the young team and, and, and the girls. Uh, the first time I met with them and their parents, they were very, very excited about about me coming in. And with a new attitude and additional talent, the softball team made strides, showing vast signs of improvement. The 2007 team eclipsed their total win mark, finishing 10-12 and 12 on the year. Now, showing Sunfire League opponents, they were no longer an easy win. Now let's fast forward to the start of 2008, where the Olathe Northwest program, the same one that was beat badly by many teams only two years ago, is now a force to be reckoned with. Northwest was showing opponents just how far they had come. Well, I think everyone's pretty excited, because... I don't think that anyone knew that we were going to do this good. Really have a great group of girls that get along with each other, so we don't have any, any issues like that, and they love playing with each other. The Ravens' toughest opponent, Olathe Eats, the longtime defending state champions who had only lost to one team, Lawrence Free State, in the last five years. This East team, the same one who demolished the Ravens 22 to nothing only two years ago. The losing pitcher that game for Olathe Northwest, Hannah Dale. I think the struggles early in her uh, career as a freshman have helped her uh, not only last year, but, but especially this year. Just weeks ago, it was again Dale on the mound, and this time it was the Ravens' turn. Northwest raised eyebrows with a 6-2 defeat over the Mighty Hawks back on April 15th. We knew we could do it going into it. It definitely lets us know that we can do good in state and go further than we did last year. With the victory, Northwest is destined to make a run at the state title. These past couple years, I never thought we would be in the position we are now in. Um, we're all looking forward to winning regionals, hopefully, and doing well in state. It's been quite the turnaround for the Northwest softball team. For Game Day Northwest, I'm Alex Gold, back to you in the studio. Prairie Highlands golf course on a very sunny but windy Tuesday afternoon where the O&W golf team would be competing six golfers in the Olathe North, Olathe South Invitational Tournament. Let's see how they would fare. The Raven golf team in action on an incredibly windy Tuesday afternoon. The wind, however, didn't seem to phase Sean Connolly here. Great shot right at the pin. He'd wind up tapping in, finishing with a 90 on the day. But the big story was freshman Wes Kleinsorge, who shot an 86, led the way for the Raven golf team, as you see their scores here. The wind, a big factor in the Ravens' scores, but they still managed to finish 11th at the tournament. This has been Andrew Dunsing, Game Day Northwest. Denver. Bozak shoots, picked up by Rowe. Fessler leaves it off for Volpe. Brian Volpe for Fessler. Looking for Rowe. Carlisle wrist shot. He scores! He scores! David Carlisle, the wrist shot. Shevry got a piece of it, but not enough. It's 2-0 Huskies. 
Nice job there by Carla to get that nice and hard wrister low and hard for the goaltender to grab. And it looked like Chevrolet thought he had it and didn't realize that he was then stopped the puck. Here's another shot at the wrister. Gets it off and through. And looked like Chevrolet thought he had it, but as you can see in the replay, he never actually stopped it and the puck trickles into the net. Way to go, David Carlisle. Congratulations, his first goal of the year. The senior defenseman from Wyoming, Minnesota. This crowd is rocking. You know, I remember uh, coming into today, I was a little confused seeing him matched up with LeBoy. Normally he's with Barda. But uh, interesting switch up, and it seems to be working. And the Pioneers come right back, putting pressure on Weslowski, and he's equal to the task. 14.34 to go here in the second. St. Cloud up 2 nothing.